Hi, I'm Ask Dave. Let's look at a comment on Moron Grounding number 742 from Scorpio415, who says he is John from Missouri. I understand about the copper pipe and braid, but how to attach it to the radio? Is it any screw on the base frame? Well, he says, I bought an RCI2995DXHP and get everything set up. Okay, so he's trying to set up a station with this. Now, this is from a company called Truck CB Sales or something like that. And that immediately makes me think that this radio is either for 10 meters or actually 11 meters. There is no band switch on the thing that I can see uh, looking at the photographs here in a video. Yes, you can pick any screw on the back. Normally a radio has a wing nut on a little screw on the back and that's where you attach the braid, okay? And then if you're using it in a truck, ground it to the tractor chassis. And then you can put up your antennas out there for whatever band you want. Now, if you are in a home station and hooking this thing up and you're trying to talk to hams, I don't know, I look at it, it seems like a single band radio. Correct me if I'm wrong. You can just connect the ground, just like I say in S. Dave number eight. Most ham radios have a, if they're, unless they're handhelds uh, or a mobile, have a wing nut that you connect the ground to. I'll show you. This is the back side, and yes, it's messy because there are a lot of cables in here. Now note that this ground braid comes up to this. This is a little screw, okay, that screws in, grabs hold of that, and this braid comes down here to attach to this copper pipe right here. You can't see much of it because it's so many things connected to it. And then that has a very sturdy connection via a number two stranded wire directly down to where the lightning arresters are. Okay, so there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.